So it's currently 10 to 6 on a chilly Thursday morning and I'm about to drive 50 miles to take my category C plus E on-road driving test. Will I pass or will I fail? I don't know but I'll tell you later. It's now 6.57 I'm at the training centre still dark will I pass? Only time will tell. See you later with the good or the bad news. There's a load of crows all over them Highlands. What a rip. I've got to go and do the vehicle check. There. Well, good news. <laughs> I actually passed first time, so I'm going to drive the 50 miles home now and give you an update then, but yeah, I passed. So, the HGV training was on the government's HGV skills boot camp, and I actually applied in November 2021, and all of last year, 22, I did the 20 hours of guided learning or whatever it was the driver CPC which was 35 hours um, and took the theory test and hazard perception test so I got the driver CPC card in like May last year I did the hazard perception and theory test in June last year and I was just waiting for the actual lessons I could have done it last October, but I wasn't able to, so I was phoned by the company running the boot camp and was told that somebody had cancelled, could I go for those two weeks? And I said, yeah, I can. So I've spent the last nine working days driving the 50 miles to take the lessons. It started off last Monday driving a category C, the rigid, just to get used to the size. And then on the Tuesday and the Wednesday I was driving the C plus E. On the Thursday was that was all spent in the yard practicing the mod 3A, the reversing exercise and the decoupling and coupling. And I passed that on the Thursday last week, a week ago today. Only just because my reversing was not very good on the test I did some awesome ones where I just like yeah smooth as silk and then I did some shite ones which was like and it just so happened on the test it was a but I passed didn't hit any cones didn't cross any yellow lines didn't hit the reverse uh, the mock reverse in bay thing it was just banana shaped uncoupling and coupling is straightforward blacks Put the trailer brake on, lower the legs, disconnect the air lines, take the clip off the kingpin, disconnect the kingpin, pull the tractor unit away. Reversing, uh, connecting is the same. Put the tractor unit up to the trailer, check the height of the fifth wheel, check the trailer brake is on, stick your lights and hazards on and go under until it clicks and then reconnect your ear lines uh, well you put the clip on the kingpin first then do the ear lines, wind the legs up pull the trailer brake off and you'll obviously you do your checks on the trailer I nearly forgot to check the trailer brake I was like, it was like, oh this is a trailer that you've never seen before so I put the tractor unit up to it, check the height of the fifth wheel made sure no one can walk between the tractor unit and the trailer and then I said, I'll just go and check the trailer over to make sure that it's in good condition. And I walked past the trailer brake and I went, there you go. First I'll check the trailer brake is on. And then I 
carried on with the visual checks and said yes I'm satisfied with this trailer and then continued to connect by as I say reversing up till you hear the two clicks put the clip in the kingpin connect all the wires wind the legs up yeah, and then before you take the trailer brake off you do the two tugs to make sure that it's all connected probably you know. and then Monday this week was out in the C plus E Tuesday was out in the C plus E Wednesday was out in the C plus E Thursday this morning I got there at like 7 o'clock went for an hour's drive in the C plus E and then my test was at 9.30 going around roads that we'd not been round all the time we were practicing Somebody on a bike, a push bike, was in front of me drifting around and cars at the side and I was like, what's all this? But, you know, I just stayed calm, stayed in control of the vehicle, made sure nobody was put in danger. And I passed. I had three miners. Uh, one of them was going over a speed bump too fast, which was like really fast because I didn't even notice it was there. Up this tight, windy housing estate with roadworks and temporary traffic lights and the speed bump was right next to the temporary traffic lights and I was like Doof. and I thought I no. wonder if that will be a failure. Another miner was hesitating at a small white painted on island because a car had come round that wasn't indicating and the truck I was in was like slow accelerating so I thought I'm not going to risk going just in case this clown wants to come round but they didn't so I went and then another miner was hesitating at another island because I put the accelerator down on the truck and it didn't go anyway it was like hmm shall I go in gear or shall I think about it and he thought about it and by then another car had come so I had to put the brakes on and stop again so and, he, and the uh, examiner did say that he noticed that the truck was a bit slow so they were just like minors and not failures so yeah I passed I got my C plus E now all I need to do is get the C plus E work so I'm happy ciao